Alright, so this is the second video in doing the fingerless gloves and where we're at now. Obviously we've done the cuff and this is the very end of the thumb increases. Now if you look closely you'll see that there's a V forming right here and that's where you did your thumb increases. That's where you um, and well, in my case, where I did my knit front to back on either side, increasing the amount of uh, knitted stitches in between the increases. So what we're going to do now is, since we are done with the thumb increase, we are going to put these stitches right here. As you can see, I actually did add that fifth needle um, when it got to be too much. Um, I'm going to put the stitches on this needle on this waist yarn. And what I did is I am using a tapestry needle and some extra yarn from this skein and I'm going to put this through these loops. So, actually I don't know why I'm doing that habit much. Alright, so you're just going to slip off the stitches. I don't want to bind off these stitches because you need to pick up these stitches later and finish the thumb. So we're just going to set them aside for now. Uh, this technique is also used in top-down raglan sweaters. You would do the same thing, putting um, live stitches on waist yarn or, or stitch holders, whatever floats your boat. For, on the sleeve part of the sweater and then continuing on with the body. But we aren't doing a sweater today, we are doing a glove. Oh, come on. Alright, done with that needle. Alright, so you grab the needle. You pull the waist yarn through. And there you go. And now comes instant gratification for glove making. Alright. You are going to completely ignore the thumb. And you are going to attach the stitches on this needle to the stitches on this needle. So when you do that, look at that instant thumb check that out. So let me put down this waist yarn or this tapestry needle. Right. And what we are going to do here is we are going to cast on five stitches. Because if you look right here on this needle, we're only going to have 11 stitches. So what we're going to do to get the, this back up to 15, we're going to, or sorry, 16, we are going to cast on those five stitches. All this is is just going to be a basic cast on. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take the yarn here, you're going to and you're just going to insert the yarn through the back of the loop. Basically just creating a small loop. It's not easy to do with a tripod in your armpit, by the way. Um, you're just, just the basic cast on. Basic, just looped on cast on. Or whatever it's called. I'm drawing a blank on it right now. And you're just going to cast on five stitches. See, right there. Now, when you go back through and you knit these, these are going to be a little bit hard to knit. You aren't doing anything wrong. It's just the nature of the beast. You might have to work at the stitch a little bit just to make it usable. Um, and you might notice a little bit of slack on the yarn. Um, you can prevent the slack by basically as casting on as tightly as possible. It's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to knit the first round, but it'll yield a really pretty result. 
So now that that's done, we're just going to keep knitting like the thumb never happened. Now this, the first stitch from these cast on stitches to the actual knitted stitch, you're going to pull this kind of tight. You, know, you don't want too much slack on that first stitch, but after that, just knit away. And basically what you're going to do, you're just going to knit stocking it in the round until the glove comes up to about here-ish, about the base of the fingers. Um, and at that point, that's where you're, 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 we're going to start the fingers. Or if you didn't want to do a fingered glove and you just wanted to do basically um, a chopped off mitten style fingerless glove um, then you would basically just keep going there until you finished knitting up to there. You, if you did that you might want to at this point you might want to start with a 2x2 two two rib or something else where it doesn't curl unless you want it to curl then well you know by all means float your boat or float your boat. So alright so that's where we're at now you're going to knit approximately an inch of course, this is because you're knitting this for yourself. You always want to try on the glove, just like if you're doing socks. You want to try on the sock, make sure it's the right length for you. Um, and then we will get back to you with the fingers. There you go.